Hello folks, this is my new ZWO guide scope and the reason I bought this is because I was using my SCT as a guide scope for my refractor and even though the SCT it guides well um, there's a, a source of differential flexure that I can't locate and my stars are drifting away a little too fast and it's causing me elongated stars it's impacting my dithering and I'm getting tired of trying to find where that source of flexure is coming from so I'm not going to stack my refractor on top of my SCT anymore I'm going for a simpler setup I might even put my refractor on my AVX and use this new guide scope which has a focal length of 280 with my refractor um, I have a smaller guide scope with a focal length of 190, but I have issues with that one too. So I'm hoping this one solves my problem. So let's take it out of the box. Well, here it is out of the box. And it is a little longer than I thought. And um, it, it does let you adjust the focus with this. You can see if I move this up, you can see it going higher. That's kind of cool. And these are the, the mounting rings and mounting bar it came with. And I knew when I ordered it, this was going to be a little wide. I'm not sure if this is even going to fit on my refractor, but I'm going to go out and take a look. I'll be back. Well, here's my existing guide scope that I want to replace. And the focal length on this one, I think I mentioned before, was 190. And for whatever reason, I just could not guide well with it. When I use my refractor as a guide scope, works great. If I use my, my SET as a guide scope, works great, other than trying to figure out flexure issues, but the guiding itself is good. But for this little guy, no idea why I can't guide with it. That's why I want to replace 190 with 280 focal length. And it looks to be almost the same size, so I don't even think I have to use the mounting rings that came with it. I think I can use my existing mounting rings. I'm going to try and put this on right now and see if it fits. Well, it fit. Um, it just made it with my existing mounting rings. I took out the smaller guide scope and put this one in. I had to untake these thumb screws out while I put it in and I just put them back on and it looks like it's a good fit. I got to tighten everything down and I've already put my load star on there and Hopefully it's not going to be hard to, to find the focus point the, the next night out. Um, we're in for some cloudy weather, I think, over the next week. So I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to test this out. And hopefully after today, um, I, I put a, a stop to spending money. I keep promising myself that, you know, no more spending money on this crazy hobby. And I keep breaking that rule. But I think, well, no, I can't make that promise again. There's other stuff I want to buy. Oh well, but I want to show you one more thing in PHD2. Hey, I am back and now I'm in PHD2 and I want to show you um, when you change your guide scope, you want to make sure you, you click on the brain. I'll do that again. You click on the brain and go into guiding and you want to adjust your focal length. And my new focal length is 280. And when I change this value for my SET, to 1260 because that has a big focal length with that reducer um it and and i hit okay it, it kept saying during the calibration process that i kept losing my guide star and what you have to do is to fix that whenever you change your focal length recalculate your calibration steps hit calculate and just hit okay and you can see the value changed here um now i did a after I tried to calibrate. I don't know what happens if I do it before I tried to calibrate like I just did now, but I was getting an issue with the SET. And then when I tried the, the smaller guide scope on another time, I was getting an issue. And uh, it, it said it wasn't, it said the telescope wasn't moving enough for that small guide scope. And I came back in here and I did a calculate and that just recalculates your calibration steps. In both instances, it fixed my issue. So. Whenever you change your, your focal length, just make sure you recalculate your calibration steps. Okay, I just wanted to make sure uh, I put that in there because I had issues and that worked for me.